Hi, this is Teacher Malu and welcome to Math Habit. Isa ka ba sa mga estudyante na kinakabahan at nahihirapan sa fraction? Well, kung oo, para sa iyo ang video na ito. Nag-aaralan natin ngayon ang multiplying fractions, ang pinakamadali sa mga fractions. Bago tayong magsimula, pag-aralan muna natin ang parts ng fraction. For example, meron tayong 1 over 6. Ang ating top number ay tinatawag natin na numerator. At ang bottom number naman natin ay tinatawag natin na denominator. Okay? And now, let's proceed to example number 1. Meron tayo ngayong 1 half times 6 over 7. Bago tayo mag-umpisa, i-review muna natin ang 3 steps on how to multiply fraction. First, multiply the numerators. O ibig sabihin, i-multiply ang mga top numbers. Number 2, multiply the denominators or i-multiply or i-times ang mga bottom numbers. And number 3, simplify or write the product in lowest terms if possible. Okay, so let's start now. So following the steps, we have step number 1, multiply the numerators. So in this problem, meron tayong Numerators na 1 at 6. So, imumultiply lang natin. Ang 1 times 6 is equal to 6. And then, following step number 2, multiply the denominators or yung mga bottom numbers. So, in this problem, meron tayong 2 and 7 as our denominator. So, 2 times 7 is equal to 14. Therefore, ang 1 half times 6 over 7 is equal to 6 over 14. Yan, ganyan lang kadalit ang mga multiply ng fractions. For our step number 3, i-check naman natin kung nakaridus na sa lowest term ng ating sagot. Paano natin gagawin yon? Kailangan natin hanapin ang GCF o yung pinakamalaking number na pwedeng i-divide sa ating answer na sa 6 at sa 14. Ang factors ng 6 ay 1, 2, 3, and 6. While ang 14 naman is 1, 2, 7 and 14. Okay, so ang greatest common factor nila dito ay 2. At i-divide na natin ngayon ang 2 sa ating fraction. So we have 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 and 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. And ang ating final answer is 3 over 7. Ang dali lang, di ba? Paano naman kung meron tayong tatong fractions? At yun ang pag-aaralan natin sa ating next example. For our example number 2, we have 1 fourth times 2 fifth times 1 eighth. Okay, ganun pa rin. Pa-follow pa rin natin yung 3 steps in multiplying fractions. Number 1 is to multiply the numerators. Okay, we have here 1 times 2 times 1 is equal to 2. And then for our step number 2, we have to multiply 4 times 5 times 8. So, 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 8 is equal to 160. At para isimplify naman ang ating sagot, so meron tayong factors ng 2 na 1 at saka 2. Sa 160 naman, meron tayong factors na 1, 2, and so on. Okay, so it's obvious naman na 2 ang ating greatest common factor. At i-divide natin ang 2 sa ating answer. So, we have here 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, and 160 divided by 2 is equal to 80. Therefore, ang final answer natin is 1 over 80. O, oh, ba Sabi sa inyo, madali lang mag-multiply ng fractions. So, paano naman kung ay mumultiply nyo ay mixed numbers? Okay, so yun ang pag-aaralan natin sa ating third example, kaya keep on watching. At para sa ating example number 3, multiplying mixed numbers, we have here 5 and 3 fifth times 3 and 4 over 7. Okay, paano natin sisimulan ang multiplying mixed numbers? Una, kailangan natin i-convert ang mixed numbers into improper fractions. So, paano natin gagawin yon? Unahin natin ang 5 and 3 fifth. Para ma-convert siya into improper fraction, i-multiply natin ang 5 times 5 and then add natin yung product sa 3. So we have here 5 times 5 is equal to 25, then plus 3 is equal to 28. And just copy its denominator. And then for our 3 and 4 over 7, 
So, multiply 7 times 3 is equal to 21. And then, i-add natin yung sagot sa 4. 21 plus 4 will give you 25. And then, kopyahin lamang ang denominator. So, eto na ngayon ang ating mixed numbers. Meron na tayong 28 over 5 times 25 over 7. Since fraction na siya, susundin na natin ngayon ang 3 basic steps in multiplying fractions. First step, multiply numerator. So, yung ating top numbers. 28 times 25 is equal to 700. And then, step number 2, multiply bottom numbers or yung ating denominators. 5 times 7 is equal to 35. Since ang final answer natin is improper fraction, pag sinabing improper fraction, mas mataas ang top numbers kesa sa bottom numbers. And to simplify improper fraction, kailangan natin i-divide ang fraction. 70 divided by 35 is equal to 2. 2 times 35 is equal to 70. 70 minus 70 is 0 and then bring down 0. 0 divided by 35 is 0. 0 times 35 is 0. Therefore, 700 over 35 is equivalent into 20. Therefore, ang sagot pala ng ating mix number is 20. Okay, so that's all for today, students. So, I hope natuto kayong mag-multiply ng fractions at mag-multiply ng mixed numbers. I will be giving more example of mixed numbers sa aking next video. So, keep on watching. So, kung hindi po kayo nag-like at nagsusubscribe sa ating YouTube channel, please like and subscribe para manotify kayo sa mga latest videos na gagawin pa natin. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.